in case you cared. Uh, do you want to play the Kingdom from the podcast or just games? I don't care what we do. Um, we could do the one from the podcast. We do need to get that out of the way anyway. Yeah, uh, so I'll we could do, do a couple of those, and then we could do random if we feel like it. Oh, balls. I didn't make a forum post, so the forum is where I n normally go to copy pasta the kingdom. But now I have to go and soon. to... Whoa! I have to go to the YouTubes. And... Do, 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 do. Um. All right. Ready to go. All right. You are in this video call. Sweet. I'm in this video call. I okay. love video calls. What did I say I wanted to do here? You said you you said that you wanted to advocate for big money here. Um, that yeah, but how did I want to open? Yeah, and like I said, I wanted to advocate for a moneyish groundskeeper, a moneyish thing that focuses on groundskeepers. But mm. well, I mean, as to the point that that even makes sense, like right. Okay, so and the wandering winder said that like talisman with guild hall is good, which it might be. It is really good for money. Like that is well. Uh, I don't know if it's worth getting the talisman. I mean, Guildhall's definitely a, a must mean, for a money strap. Oh, also, I was thinking about opening Overlord, and like normally you look for things other than stuff that gives you money, but I think in this case, since we have Baron and Vault, um, I think the two of those put together, along with the the chance I feel like splashing a bunch of stuff for your lamp is going to be good, but I feel like the flexibility might be worth it. And the, and the flexibility might even be enough for it to pay for itself on the second shuffle. So I'm going to try opening overlord instead of Baron, which I might otherwise open here or like, well, Sage, uh, Sage silver's lame, but like Sage Baron, I might've thought about, but like, no, I want, I'm going to try Overlord. I think it could be good. Here, uh, in Exhibit A, we see Adam regretting getting an Overlord. <laughs> Did you not draw it? Well, I mean, if I draw it next turn, it could still work out, but it feels bad to be looking at $5 and knowing that I can't buy a Fiverr this turn, and I might get screwed out of it next turn. So let's go ahead and take a guild hall now. All right. Gonna need, I mostly did that because I hit the price point for it early enough before I've gotten any treasures for the deck, and I'm going to need to get some anyway that I can't think of a better value buy. But mostly just because there's nothing at five and six I really need to get here. So, like, well, there, you can like make an argument. Value. You can make an argument for getting a royal carriage to help your lamp go off sooner. I don't think that's better than Guildhall, but I think there's does an Royal, argument for it. Does Royal Carriage help you get your... I mean, yeah. so like I would get a Vault if I was going to do that, or an Overlord, maybe. Well, you but... want non-terminals, first of all, and Royal Carriage is a village, even. But like you just call it on the turn where you see your lamp, right? Like, it's you just can. It's unique whenever you want it. I think it's really oh, good okay, for Oh, okay, yeah, right, lamp. you can save it. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't, um, I didn't really think that through. That's true. <laughs> Yeah, like most reserve cards are good with Lamp and Lepi, you know. Yeah. We published the Minisode on Lepi, right? I think we published yeah. that one. Uh, yeah, I think so. Who so knows? that's out there in the universe. I don't remember which ones we've published. Um, Normally I'm like under duress when we're publishing Minisodes, <laughs> so I'm not super <laughs> concerned. I'm like, oh God, which one do we do? Just pick one. <laughs> right. right. You probably That's why you're publishing a Minisode in the first place. Yeah, it normally is, yeah. Yeah. So options, I could go with Secret Cave Sage, just to go like all out for activating my lamp. Touch nothing but the lamp. I could get a gold, which is pretty good. Or I could also get Guild Hall. Uh, let's let's go with lamp. Full lampage. Ooh. Given that I know what you're doing, I would have gone Guildhall, but I don't know. I mean, I'm not, like, the lamp is important, too, so it's 
hard to say. Um, I'm going to yeah. get a gold because I actually I have guild hall and I want to get to turns well, where I'm Why not two. why not like double silver? Because that doesn't help or, me. Or well, gold copper is better than double silver. We're like talisman silver. Uh because <laughs> well, cuz you think that's bad. <laughs> Talisman silver is actually something I would have considered, but mostly it doesn't I'm jive with your groundskeepers, right? Yeah, it's not gonna. It, it's not good for the deck I eventually want to build. Right now, my immediate goals are to get to turns where I'm maybe getting two groundskeepers per turn, and to get my lamp off. Uh, and talisman silver helps me in the short term, but I think gold helps me more in the long term. Oh, I'm gonna skip my overlord. It's gonna be so good. I can feel it in my bones. Um, nice four uniques you did it so i could get an overlord now i could spend a coffer to get a silver um probably take an overlord and oh sweet pray that i can maybe see my lamp this turn it's possible Woo! i uh I didn't skip my Overlord. It just misses That's the true. shuffle, which is actually better. Let's get a Glod. It's slightly better. It is. I mean, that's a true fact, yo. Would have been sweet to see the Secret Cave so I could keep it in play. Did I discard the Secret Cave? No, I did not. So that's there's a still a chance. Cave. No, I'm sorry, the lamp. Um, oh. Did I discard the lamp yet? Touch no. nothing but the lamp. I could play Overlord as Royal Carriage and never see it again. Nice. Uh, <laughs> uh, Do it. I'm thinking that I have a Baron in hand, so I think I play Overlord as Groundskeeper. Uh, Sage is strictly better if... Secret Cave? Are well, gonna... I'm hoping to get my lamp. Oh, got it. Yeah, so... There's seven cards, and I'm unlikely to do it, but good oh. players give themselves chances to get lucky. Let's. All right, didn't get lucky. But I'm... Balls. So I guess I'm not a good player. Uh, so <laughs> I'm going to get a second secret cave, probably. Maybe a silver. Silver is another unique. Second secret cave helps me more on the long term. You have guild hall. Silver just seems way better. Really? One more fucking world. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get the silver. Um, <laughs> hey, I found my lamp. It was the next card. I mean, I got a 0% chance of blowing, of getting a lamp this turn, so this just seems like something I want to do. This is starting to wow. convince me that going for lamp is bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm, like, uh, I'm feeling that's what that. I'm, that's what I'm getting from this. Is that, yeah. Well... I want to try it a couple more times and see how unlikely it actually is to make it happen. Because, like, if it could really happen, it's then it's good to do. But, like, we've spent a lot of time accomplishing nothing for it, so... Yeah. Well, I've played this Overlord as Baron, I think, every single time. Well, that's, that's more okay than if you'd played it as something else every single time. Because, like, the Baron is situational enough that... Like, you could have gotten screwed if it was an actual Baron. Yeah, but it feels bad. Sure. <laughs> That's a fair point. I'm going to take another royal carriage. <laughs> Boom, lamp. Got there, guys. We did, did it. You? Oh, no, you did. Okay. I've... I got all the way to four, Jake. Four uniques. Read them and weep. I'm making everything miss the shuffle, by the way. Nice. Uh... Look at all that stuff you made miss a shuffle. I can't see the stuff you made, Mr. Shuffle. But I can see you made Estate, Secret Cave, Overlord, and Four Coppers, okay. Mr. Shuffle. Or not I Mr. Shuffle. Wait, no. <laughs> this is so terrible. The log needs to re to put these in order. Damn it. Like, Still the Secret didn't. Cave being in the middle is so confusing and awful. Didn't find my secret, my uh, lamp, so that's sad. Okay. Um... So many uniques. I know. And yet and it my, doesn't matter. Yeah, found my lamp's in there. Um, so let's get these. <laughs> Sweet. I'm going to play Overlord as Baron again. 
wow, we look like such noobs right now. Like, I just I mean, want to point out, if somebody's just watching us play this, we look like we have no idea what we're doing. I'm and, like, that's, kind of, that's true. We don't have any idea what we're doing. But, like, man. That's right. This is Feels terrible. Good, man. I don't even have a vault yet. Let's get one of those. It's fun. <laughs> I'm just trying out all the cards. <laughs> I need one of everything, right? That's how yeah. you play Magic Lamp. Yeah, totally. Here comes my lamp. Boom! Got there. <laughs> nice. Three. <laughs> I'm building uh, way too much, by the way. You might have just gotten province there. I know. I don't really see a reason not to. Uh, did I already see my lamp? I wanted you? the coffers, Jake. I wanted them. I wanted them so hard. No reason to do that. I will do this, though. Let's just get double groundskeeper. Let's say fuck the lamp and just start groundskeeping. Nice. So if I call Royal Carriage on Overlord, it has to be what I originally played yes. as. Unless yeah. some weirdo trashy things. Wait, then I can't call the Royal Carriage. Anyway, let's play Secret Cave first. Uh, no, I don't want to do this. I could just play Overlord as Vault. You have six groundskeepers. That's so many. Yeah, I'm thinking I might get one more, but because I'm not being mirrored, it's time to start greening very soon. Well, not necessarily greening soon, but, like, doing other stuff soon, which will... Include greening. Like, if you were going to start going for groundskeepers, then I need to just get all of them, but you're not, so. I wanted the style points there. All right. Um, do I feel okay about making that miss the shuffle? And I think the answer is going to be no. So I could play this extra groundskeeper. Actually, it's good enough for this turn that I think it's okay to cause this bad shuffle. Ooh. Uh oh. Does he have his lamp? No, no. This was just Got a three uniques. This was a decent draw. So vault. I don't know what I'm expecting to achieve by doing that, but I did it anyway. Okay. So we're going to go with Groundskeeper State, maybe. No, not Groundskeeper State. Um, I could just get a province. Doesn't That seems bad, getting a province. Um, Provinces are dumb. Wait, why is getting a province bad? Because it shortens the game. Yeah, are you um, going to win the game with zero provinces? No, but like, there's no reason well, to get Well, then get, get the now. province now. There's no reason That's to. Because you need it in your deck anyway. If you think it's time to green now, then you should get the province now, because it's the most efficient source of points. I'm thinking about it. I mean, I might want to leave provinces you know, where they are. Um, the only like, reason you would saying. do that is if you plan to win the game with zero provinces. Which is still an option right now, but it's not. You go for provinces. it. I don't think you can do it. Um, if there's a chance I can't. I'm thinking about it. Let's see. There is a chance. I don't think you can do it. So I could go Duchy Silver, too. Oh, get that delicious coffers. You could go Province Copper. Copper. I like, uh, I could also go Baron Estate. Seems bad. Let's yep. go. 
Let's go with Duchy Silver. Not really going to have time to... Ooh, I drew another province. Nice. Sage is oh, so but good. my lamp's coming up. Oh! Oh, I'm going to get the lamp! Are you it's really? going to happen! Uh, I mean, there's a chance. It's that actually a, matters a lot. It's. Um, I mean, I'll have to see my wishes, but it could happen. Uh, I'm that's at true. the bottom of a shuffle. Of course I'm going to see my wishes. I wish I had a second buy, but I don't. Oh, the funny thing is... So, okay, my hand is Copper Silver Lamp Vault Overlord, and obviously I'm playing the Overlord as a cantrip. The, th the <laughs> funny thing is, my Royal Carriage is in those bottom three cards, which will get me the lamp, but cause this shuffle that I don't want, so that I'll never see my wishes. There's a chance funny. you'll see them. So it's still good, because if you see a witch, it's a free duchy. Or, so, or gold to province, which is probably better. But Bottom three cards... I'm thinking about playing Overlord as Sage, mostly because I don't have a Sage in the deck. And I think it might... I mean, I'll find my Royal Carriage, probably, if I play it as Sage. I don't think I have anything in there that costs three or more. I'm worried I have another Silver and I'm going to find it and be sad. But then the Sage wouldn't have done any better than, like, another Cantrip. Yeah, let's play Overlord as Sage. Or wait, no, Groundskeeper, right? Because I'll actually, I'll probably get a green card this turn, so it's a VP token. I want to clarify that I, well, actually, I'm not sure if uh, I just played this deck really badly, or if the Groundskeeper thing just doesn't care about Lamp. This, no, uh, this game means I'm... nothing in terms of what's better, because I think Lamp is just garbage. We all, I, well, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Is Lamp garbage, or did we get really unlucky? Um, because either one could be the case. You are probably right. Hold on. Like, I want to be careful about being results-oriented when we're talking about something as random as lamp. Yeah. I just realized I drew a gold. So I should, uh, just do this. I don't need to call my real carriage in order to do all the things. <laughs> Oh, I have to do this. Okay. Boom! Got it. Didn't matter. Got it anyway. See, like, th that leads me to believe that maybe Lamp isn't garbage, because a deck like yours, getting it at some point means that it's possible to, to happen, and it could happen a lot earlier if the draws work out. Then so, like, you can definitely first. high roll. And if you high roll, you but probably like, just win. But I, I don't agree. think it's like, I don't, is it much of a high roll is the question. Like, I, I don't, that's the question. I don't know that it is. Yeah. I think some math could probably be done, but from my gut feel of things without like copper trashing, without any trashing, I don't see it. I could be wrong, but like the, you're asking the right questions, right? Yeah. So, well, this is, well, I guess that's why we do these. Yeah. Sweet. I'm like, I'll keep my two coffers, and I'll uh, keep my royal carriage on my mat so that pretty much no matter what hand I get next turn, I'll be able to province. And then I draw two estates and three coppers. So this is also giving me questions, because even though I played Whoa! this ground... <laughs> yes! Okay, go ahead. Sorry. Even though I played this groundskeeper deck really badly, I like got royal carriages, which this deck doesn't want. Um, the vault, the overlord, and barons are probably fine. Even though I played this badly, it's still not that decisive. Like, if you well, have a I couple... also played pretty badly too. For the well, record. I'm just saying, it's like I don't think this is telling us much about whether groundskeeper beats money either. Because like, uh, right? When I said this game's me game means nothing in terms of what's best, that's what I meant. Wow, I actually need to get an estate here. I can't just, like, jam a coffers. That is unfortunate. Well, I didn't get the hand that puts me back in it, so I think you're fine. 
Yeah, I mean, I was unlikely to get that hand, to be fair, but... You had uh, two free turns to get it. Yeah. All right, well, that was not educational in the slightest. I will no longer be uh, going for Magic Lamp. Well, I think it was. It's a data point. Sure, um, I was I'm, I was exaggerating. Obviously. Yeah, I'm not going to like stop going for Magic Lamp at all. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see if like the same thing happens this game, and like how likely is it? And then maybe uh, somebody who's a little more numbers oriented can give us a breakdown of. <clears throat> I'm not sure I want a real Baron in my deck if I'm gonna get an Overlord. I just don't think adding a real Baron to my deck when I have an Overlord in my life is good. So I think uh, I'm well, just gonna it, get silver. What it does here's here's the case for it though. Um, one, it let's okay. It's a unique for lamp. You've already decided you're not. Yeah, going I don't for care lamp, about whatever. that. Um, you don't have four debt next turn, so that means that you get a guild hall next shuffle. Whereas if you get the real baron, or if, whereas if you get the getting the the real baron means that you can get guild hall next shuffle. Getting the fake baron means you're probably not. Uh, so, I think I still have a good chance of getting it. As long as I see my Overlord, I should be able to get Guildhall. I, how it's a matter of what I don't also silver, get, which is silver. Silver Overlord? Yeah. Um, I think I'm not getting it silver, could happen. and that's the I mean, big cost. It could happen, but... I don't know. I think that the real Baron has enough of a case because of Guildhall and, and the other thing, but... You've convinced me that opening Baron here is probably fine. On a 3-4, I'm really I'm still leaning towards Overlord just cuz I have one less debt. Let's just uh Let's do the lamp thing. Sage silver then. Yeah. Alright, I'm all in on not getting screwed next turn. I got screwed. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but uh, I believe you. Well, it could mean a number of different things. Not getting screwed meant I saw a Baron and an Estate this turn. Because that was the only... Oh, wait, I can still hit five. It just feels really bad because I can't play my Baron. Okay, whatever. This is not the end of the world, but... <laughs> I had both my estates miss. Okay, it's fine. Whatever. It's fine. Whatever. It's fine. Whatever. Jake, did you know? Fuck. <laughs> it's fine. The problem with Sage whatever. is it skips the lamp. Um, and Overlord. And Poorhouse. <laughs> well. Uh, does Sage skip Overlord? It does. Rip. Yeah, Sage might just be bad here. Sage might be really bad here, actually. <laughs> I don't think I ever put a real Sage in my deck. I did for a game. unique, but... Well, if you're going for Groundskeeper, I think you want the Sages. I Maybe you don't want to open with it, but you probably want them at some point, because you need that cycling. Ooh. I didn't Draw open Baron. with it. I opened Ooh. Secret Cave. Hey, Jake, I discarded two Estates, and I drew an Estate, and I've got a Baron in those seven cards. Nice. And you want to know what the funny thing is? What? I'm probably going to see it with my talisman, so I'm probably going to play it anyway. Nice. <laughs> um... <laughs> oh, that feels so bad. Do I get a second overlord? That feels really bad. It um, seems not great. But, like, there's nothing that's good. You can get a second secret cave. Or a second save. That's, if you're... that's the best thing, because it's a duration. That's, like, the thing that feels the least bad. For this like, lamp, thing. for your lamp, man, yeah. this lamp is not working out. It's yeah. Well, part of that's because Sage is not a good card. Oh God. I feel like my deck is trolling me this game. By the way, read them and weep. Four uniques with the lamp. You just got owned. So do I get talisman over gold? <laughs> <laughs> Why would you get talisman over gold? Because it gives me an extra coffers, and I get another because I get another copy of the talisman. Oh man, I think that, that... seems really bad, right? Oh uh, wait, actually, hang on, that's not crazy. I'm doing it. Ha! Yes. 
I have Baron and Estate and Talisman in this hand. I'm so excited. <laughs> this is amazing, Jake. This is so amazing. I'm so happy that this happened. Um, okay, I think that this is also, like, I think I'm also going to say that this doesn't tell me much about the lamp because I, I got a sage, and I think if you're doing the lamp thing, you just don't get a sage. Well, you probably get it later, right? Did you open? When, I don't, when did you get no, it? No, I, I opened Secret Cave. Secret I, Cave, Baron, and then you well, got it I don't think you three. get it, period. It skipped my, it skipped my magic lamp, um... I think Two Sage is good for now. Groundskeeper. I mean, you probably get it for your lamp at some point, but like, I, I kind of don't. Bad. I don't. Based on what's happened, I really don't think you do. Okay, so, so how far. are you going to get your lamp to happen? What What are your cards? Right, you got copper and lamp. You probably have silver. You probably have secret cave. And Baron, then like, what um, else? So like, you get a terminal. So probably Baron. And then yeah. what else are you doing? Is it groundskeeper, royal carriage, gold, or sage? And well, only one of those costs three. So, like, there's, I, I mean, yeah, they, uh, it okay. costs four or less. So, like, I could see it happening, even though it's probably not great. Or talisman. Yeah, I'm actually. I'm gonna yeah. go ahead and resign this because. Or no, no, no. Let me, let me, out. let me have my turn and then resign. Okay. Okay. If you want to play out your talisman thing and see how yes. that is, but I just like, want to. I just want to see how good this turn feels and then you can resign. Okay. I'm, but I'm convinced that everything I've been doing is bad. <gasps> okay, you can resign now. Well, if you want to see how the money thing plays no, out with fine. the talismans, okay. it's fine. We can. I'll be playing. Uh, we'll have plenty of games. I just wanted to play that turn. Did you see okay. it? Did you see it, Jake? I did. You got, I got a lot of stuff. four silvers and four coffers. That's a really good turn for money. Like it was so hard. hot. Yeah, I mean, I will. S oh, this is weird. Five two. Yeah. Vault two five. Overlord? Oh, that's two five a lot is... worse. Yeah, Overlord, let's... nothing. Or this doesn't vault? tell me anything about this board. Like I'm, s I'm in the phase right now where I'm not like looking to play the board well. I'm trying to figure out what's good, and that 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 hand is not gonna that open is not gonna tell me anything. Okay, I'm gonna. It'll tell you less than a three four maybe. And it but takes I a don't second think it tells to you nothing. And it takes a split second to resign and get a better game. I mean, I'm for not it. judging you for it. I'm yeah. just I'm just talking yeah. out my bum. No, I I had a. Uh, with 4-3, I said getting the real Baron is better. That's what I... I'm still on that train. Okay. So if By the I'm, way... Oh, go ahead. If I'm straight up uh, ignoring Lamp, do I still open with the cave? Um, I think the answer is going to be so. no. I don't think you want to. Um, really so I went for Baron, and I think the second one might be Overlord. Um, what if you open Baron Sage just to try and find your Baron? Is that good? It doesn't seem good. I, Overlord I don't think that's seems good. better. Overlord seems better. The other thing I'm thinking about is Silver, obviously. Like, like Overlord. Well, I think you should get the Silver. I think Overlord nothing. Just paying off seven debt total is better than opening sage baron um that's so probably what you do on a two five silver, right? the overlord is a better card for the deck long term the silver is gonna help me get guild hall and make it but like the overlord is gonna make it less likely that i don't get to play baron to get money so uh, if you I'm, okay well i was Sorry, my brain was in, like, I have a 2-5, yeah. what do I do? And I think in that case, though, you get Overlord turn one. You pay off seven debt, right? I think that's yeah. the best thing you can do with a 2-5. That's probably it, but... And if we were more advanced in our understanding of this board, uh, I would probably play it out, but I just were... Sure. I, I actually think it's not that bad, though. Yeah? I think it's pretty bad. I think it's a lot worse than your other options. I think it's worse, but I don't think it's that much worse. Um, so, um, in those seven cards, I have two Estates. I also have my Silver. Um, 
I'm getting the guild hall, Obvi. But I'm also, I'm thinking about getting an overlord with it or a copper. If I get the overlord, I have a 0% chance of putting a talisman in my deck before I shuffle. And I can't play the overlord as talisman. And that makes me really sad. <coughs> What are my chances, though, anyway? If my silver misses, my chances are next to zero. It would have to miss with an estate. So it's roughly five and seven. If my silver doesn't miss, then I'm guaranteed the talisman. So it's like 70% maybe that I get the talisman anyway. So I don't feel like putting an overlord in my deck right now is nearly as good. I would rather do it like next shuffle. So I'll get the guild hall, and now do I get the copper or do I not get the copper? If I get the copper, my chances, I think, are 100% of the talisman. Seems worth. Oh, man, is it worth? Yeah, I don't, I don't want to get screwed. Didn't get screwed, whatever. So it was probably worse than nothing, but I like getting the copper. But with, with Baron, I think getting at least one Talisman is good for Guildhall. Okay, so probably... Uh, what? Guildhall... Groundskeeper... Guild Better get hall. the guild hall now and then don't get a treasure with it. Well, I'll get a treasure. I'm trolling you. The point is, I think I mean, the I talisman would... would be better for. Well, never mind. Sorry, you want that's... talisman. Yeah, it's that's not the deck I'm playing. You might be bet. You might be right that that's a better deck, but it's not good yeah. for what. It's not good for what my game plan is. Have um, you considered royal carriage? Not trolling. I think one I, royal carriage is probably good for you. I did think about the royal carriage. Um, it's. But I'm also thinking about what it actually does for me. And so so here, let me run this by you. And this may be bad, but uh, I'm theory crafting. So your deck likes to have big turns, like spiky turns. Yeah. Like you would love Tactician in that deck. Because yeah, you can have turns where you play a lot of groundskeepers and do a lot of things and get lots of value. And mm -hmm. then, or you can like, and then like small turns where you set up. It benefits your deck. So, like, Royal Carriage is a mini version of that. Like, if I have Groundskeepers in play and I have a Baron out, I'm happy to call my Royal Carriage on my Baron because it either gains me a big green card, it gives me another buy that I can use to gain a green card, right? And the, yeah, and the, uh, this is true, but it's also or not both. a, it's also not a Groundskeeper. And the thing that is that, like, if I have all the time in the world, what you're saying is technically better. So the um, fact that it's not it a groundskeeper is true. I'm I'm proposing a, a very different way of building the deck. I yeah, mean, you don't want to call royal carriage on groundskeeper, actually, but let's just not get guild hall at all. Maybe I think uh, I get not getting guild hall at all seems reasonable for your deck. Yeah, uh, let's go groundskeeper royal carriage and maybe see if there's some merit to what you're saying. I don't know. Is it is there merit? Do I have time for the royal carriage? The, the fact that it's not a royal carriage, I would say, in theory, is canceled out by the fact that it still helps you play more royal carriages overall. You mean groundskeepers? That's what I meant, yeah. Yeah. Groundskeepers. Well, like, it, it cycles you towards your groundskeepers. It cycles me towards the... Well, no, it's a card in the deck that I draw, so it, it does cycle me toward it, but not by much. It, it helps um, you play more groundskeepers in the way you want to play them. Yeah. It helps you get more value out of your groundskeepers. It's not cycling, but it still helps you get more value out of your groundskeepers. I That's could true. be I'm, wrong. This could be bad. I'm just well, saying the, there are reasons the other, for it. The other consideration I need to make here is econ, right? So I'm deciding whether or not to get Guildhall at all. But I think about, like, when I have this deck full of groundskeepers, not just being stuck with like buying estates, because like that deck is not very good, and and a deck that even doesn't get groundskeepers can play around a deck that has groundskeepers and no econ. Um, I think not getting guild hall is not crazy for your deck. 
That's a double That's negative. A I think I wouldn't fault you if you never got Guildhall. By the way, read them and weep. Two uniques with the lamp out. God, I'm so good at this game. Sometimes it causes me physical pain. You should get that looked at. All right. I'll get Uno more Talisman. All right, this feels great. Indeed. Let's get a second Baron. Seems fine. Boom, uh, boom! Okay. Mm -hmm. Time to start getting groundskeepers, I think. So it never came up uh, that the Overlord would have been good. There were draws that last shuffle that definitely could have done it for me, but they didn't happen. And that's okay. Uh, I'm still in great shape. I have eight coffers. Um, yeah. So <laughs> I think uh, with different cards, I would have started greeting this turn, but I think I'm going to give it one more turn. Uh, I'll get some silvers now, and then I think I'll start greeting next turn. Yeah, this is fine. Also, I just want you to know, Jake... I'm going to have more uniques with my lamp this turn than I have ever had this game. I think. Okay, hang on a minute. Uh -oh. I'll look it up, don't worry. Balls. Never mind, it's a tie. Yeah. Wait. One, two, three, four. Uh -oh. No, thank you. And I also think I have Baron and Estate in those what? last five cards. Oh, Good you got effort. it. Turn nine. And that royal yeah. carriage was a frickin' hero, wasn't it? Yeah, that's true. Actually, the royal carriage being the only village is actually the big deal. Yeah, you can put, like, both a uh, vault. Well, you can, you can play two terminals, right? Because you can't do that without royal carriage. Well, the bigger deal is one of them needs to be vault because it's really hard to get your <laughs> right? lamp turn off without yeah. drawing cards. Yeah. Um, you got there. You could. Uh, this is going to be competitive. I think. This yeah. Will be close. It, this just became. Uh, this this the went from game. me not having a chance to I'm I'm back in it. Uh, uh, so I'm going... I will say if if you lose this game, I think it's a big mark against groundskeeper. Yeah, I okay. I agree. Um, but if it's close, I think it's about, no mark at all against groundskeeper. This is about the. Um, this is about the pace I would expect this to be because this isn't a great board for groundskeeper. Like this isn't. There's no also way to get them especially. Also not a great board for magic lamp. <laughs> right. This is, there's no way to get them especially quickly, and it seems like strong money support. And there's a threat of ending the game before you get groundskeeper value. Um, do I take a secret cave over silver? I do because it's econ that doesn't slow me down. Sure. Yeah, you so. want more cantrips because it makes your royal carriage better. Sure. I'm more just thinking yeah. about a card I would have, econ that doesn't get in the way of groundskeepers. I would have considered Sage there pretty strongly, though. I think Sage is now good for your deck. Well, I don't want to skip the wishes. Um, hmm. I don't think Sage is... I, I, I have decided I don't okay. think Sage is good here at all. I, I mean, okay. Once you spend your wishes, I think all your three... Dollar or less buy should be spent on sage. Should probably be estates because at that point in the game, I better. Okay, if you don't have groundskeepers, but yeah. like it's going to help you play more groundskeepers. It's a good card for your deck at this point. Do I spend a coffers to get a silver? Probably. Yeah, seems likely to pay for itself the next time I draw that card. <clears throat> All right, and now I'm just going to try provincing every turn the rest of the game. That's the plan. We're just going to try to run towards the finish line screaming. So I could double a state, but that doesn't seem great. Three groundskeepers out. 
Yeah. On the long term, I think that's costing me points, though. Because... Uh, Seems about right to me. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I like a state for you. I think you should get a sage. I'm thinking about a baron. You have, uh, what, two real barons in your deck? Yeah. And one overlord. Hmm. Uh, the sage is actually fun. Oh, I'm going to... Okay, page. this is the good time to get a sage, because I'm going to see the witches this shuffle, and I don't have a real sage in yeah. the deck, so there's no chance of the sage skipping the witches. So this is the time I get the sage. Yeah. Hashtag now is the time. Yeah. Ooh, this is pretty sexy. Question, though, is now do I spend the coffers in order to get the... Um, Whoa, this is a hand. Silver. I mean, I guess, like, I shouldn't be surprised. This hand is going to happen at some point. It's I a good hand. I don't think I want to spend it. Actually, I feel like the exactly best I can possibly do is breaking even if I do it this way. So, yeah, we'll just get the copper. Oh, the temptation. Temptation Island. The reality show. It got canceled because it's morally awful. Okay. Oh, right. I should do something with this card. <laughs> um, I could play this as... I should probably play this as a royal carriage just to thin the overlord. I'm kidding. Yeah, um, <laughs> good call. Oh, snap. Big turn coming up. You got one, two, three, four, five groundies in play and get three victory cards. It's a big uh, deal. Yeah. Dutchy Dutchy Estate. Yeah. Dutchy or, Dutchy Estate or Groundskeeper. Um... Or, or Undo. And, oh, right. Uh, gain an estate uh, with one of your barons. I think you at least want to gain one estate with one of your barons. No. For five groundies, it seems worth it. That's gaining a province. Yeah, but I'll... Uh... I can just buy it. Oh, you'll you'll it, gain four victory cards this yeah. turn. Yeah. Yeah, you're yeah. right. Right. You, yeah. but uh, if you do both barons, you'll still only gain four victory cards if you get four estates because you won't have the money. But yeah, for one of them, you definitely want to gain the estate. Yeah, you're you're right about that. Yeah. Uh, so I could go groundskeeper estate, or I could go duchy okay. estate. Going groundskeeper estate is inconsistent with gaining the estate with baron. Like uh, you get three estates here. Otherwise, you should just discard the estate to baron. Does that make sense? It does. Yeah. Um. So. Oh, triple estate helps my barons give me money too, which is another consideration. It's so not yeah, awful. Let's get, well, let's get three estates. Snap. This is like close. If you have one more turn like that, I'm probably gonna lose. Granted, it's going to be hard. You only have yeah, one real carriage, and that, it's no that longer turn on was, that. That turn was inevitable to happen one time, but it's... Uh... <laughs> uh, I uh, talked to this guy on Discord for a while the other day. Oh, this is a big deal. Oh, the other thing is uh, there's only one estate left. So it is going to be harder for you to have a big turn like that. Uh, yeah, case in point. Um... <laughs> That is your last five point. Estate. Oh, did you not have an estate to discard? I did have an estate to discard, but you like definitely they're... discard it. Well, I thought about what I would do with it. It's strictly better, but there's nothing I'm doing you can, with that. You can buy a duchy instead. Leave the state in the pile for later. In the, oh, the estate in the pile wait, for later. It I... forces me to buy an estate this turn to deny it to you, which is awful for me because I don't get yeah. a coffers for it. You definitely do that and buy the duchy. You're right. I forgot I was going to hit six. I thought that I was only hitting four because I can't count. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> Counting is hard. Yeah, it's pretty tough for me. Yeah. Hey, This is uh, really if rough. If anyone's like, watching this and trying to figure out this board like we are, uh, don't let my stupidity uh, reflect on Groundskeeper. <laughs> Groundskeeper is not bad. I'm bad. <laughs> I think I have to get the estate there. Right? That's like that's like a seven point swing. And I think that matters. Oh. Seems like it does. Do I want to do this? Probably not. 
Nah. Well. Um. Sure. Woo! Okay. Didn't matter. Actually, it did matter. It did matter because this talisman uh, will give me an extra coffers. Extra two coffers. I was going to get the one anyway. Oh, yeah. Which turned out not to matter, because, but with a different draw, it could have mattered. All, on the other hand, though, if I drew a blank, then I could have wasted a coffers. I just hate the duchy here. All right, this was yeah. super close. This was. Uh, I think this is a mark against groundskeeper, but not necessarily making it worse. Uh, I Why do you think the... it's a mark against groundskeeper? Because you got your lamp off really early. I think your lamp was earlier than normal. That was not early. That was turn nine. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I, okay. I think that's better than expected. Sure. Here's here's my take. Up. Here's my take from this. Um, you don't play around getting the lamp. You don't like do things that are bad specifically because they help you get the lamp, but you also don't do things that preclude the possibility of the lamp. Like you sure. try to, I agree. like you don't start like spam. If you're playing the deck I was playing. Yeah, I agree. So, uh, yeah. okay. Uh, I'm going to pause the video for a sec. I'm going to go check on the kid, but I'll be right back. Okay. That like the definition of combo doesn't imply a power level at all. and just implies like a, it's two cards that can viably win you the game sometimes that play in a very non-standard way. And what I mean by non-standard is what you've been talking about before with like ignoring those standard rules of deck building. Um, Hold on just a sec, Jake. Yeah. That was this morning? Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Okay, what, what was the last part of what you said again? Sorry, Megan oh. was talking to me, and I like her more than you. Sorry. Yeah, that's cool. I'm not sorry. I It's matrimony. I get it, man. Yeah. Um, so what do you think about a discussion on combos that starts out by defining what's, what quote-unquote standard play is, which is just the good deck-building rules of Dominion that you've yeah, talked Yeah, those about three the videos in the tutorial series is what I'm pointing at. But yes, and then I'm with combo, you. And then you could define combo not as something that's really powerful um, or something like... Something not that makes you break the rules. Yeah, something that makes you break the rules and possibly win that way. And then you can talk about power level when you talk about the individual combos. But that okay, way... I agree with that completely. Um, that's the point. And that's the way yeah. I think the definition should be phrased. However, I don't know of anything that makes you break those rules that isn't powerful. Well, uh, I, I do. So What um, is it? Well, native village, native village Bridge isn't that great. But, um, uh, and it, it makes is, you though. break those rules. It is great. I mean, it's not like it's, it's something you sometimes combo, go for, but but it's still powerful. But yeah, so like, well, and the other thing, it like helps you get like weird examples out of there too that are debatable, like uh, the Apprentice Market Square thing. I should like not have gotten this copper. Hold on, it was really dumb to get that copper. I know it's slightly cheaty. Could have seen I've seen this You're hand, fine. but it was really bad to get it. You're fine. Um, Apprentice Market Square, yes. Yeah, so Apprentice Market Square um, is, are two cards that are really synergistic together, uh, and like, but they but they are benefited by those standard rules. The, the standard you you play to it in a quote unquote standard way. So like, hmm. um, it's not like you don't have to talk about that as a combo because it's it well, it cares about the rest of the kingdom. Hmm. Yeah, you're probably um, right. So like, that's the benefit I think of like not saying the word combo implies power. Um, but saying like most sure. of them, to, be, to be viable to win in a non-standard way, it of course has to be powerful. Right. There are other there are other combos or there are other restrictions on what a combo is. Uh, gold overlord or talisman here. Um, you're playing. You're still playing money. Are you playing yeah, double money? I've got estate and copper in the bottom mm. there. I say talisman. I kind of like the overlord. I don't think it's gold. Wait. I think it's talisman or overlord. What, what else do you have in your deck? Um, There's copper and estate down there. I got the guild hall, and I just have baron and silver. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, the overlord doesn't. I'm going to get the talisman. Anyway, 
But like a combo needs to be two cards, right? Yeah. It needs to be exactly yes. two specific cards, or two. there can be combo blocks where like I oh, think like, upgrade rats and upgrade fortress. You know, it's the same idea. So like that's a combo block. Yeah. Um, although it's yeah, no upgrade rats and upgrade fortress are fun. Upgrade rats, I'm less. Well, it's less good than Upgrade Fortress, but it's still upgrade good rat? enough to be a combo. What is it doing? Is it piling it, duchies? Yeah, it piles upgrades, rats, and duchies on, like, turn how's nine. It, it's how's it getting the duchies? You upgrade rats. Oh. Well... It's obscene. Like, it's lightning okay. fast. Okay, okay, sure. Uh, 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 maybe that should have been an overlord. Can I actually... Let me undo, like, back you sure? Here. Oh, okay, turn four, that seems fine, yeah. Yeah, how do I get back to... Slash how undo. Do I... Yeah, but chat? isn't there a way to click in the log to... Yeah, you do slash undo in the chat, you hit enter, and then you scroll down to where you want. I probably did too many steps. Yeah, I all did right. one too many. It's all good. Yeah. And of course, if anyone's watching this, yes, this is very cheaty, uh, but the point here isn't to play a competitively well, valid yeah. game it's to test this kingdom out and see yeah. what's good here so we want to play as optimally as we can and Hi, buddy. There you go. This, will this is the second sure. baron yeah. sure okay that will be good for the longevity of our sesh boom oh it was so hot oh that was so good that was amazing Huh. Yeah, it's not. I'm not going to play to the lamp going. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, no, this is fine. have uh six with the talisman out is it gold or silver that's a real question i think i want the silvers yeah the silver seems better yeah for the money the money deck is going to be wants to be thick anyway thick in this case spelled t-h-i-c-k i hate when people <laughs> replace c-k with c-c i think that's stupid I don't know. It doesn't like Pete. I've heard a lot of people like hate on that. It just doesn't bother me. <laughs> okay. Most uh, of these things I'm fine with. Oh, look, all three of my states in one hand with no Baron. Great. Um, yeah, this is not, I'm not going to try to play around activating the lamp. There's not a good chance of it happening. Dog. Don't kick the baby. <laughs> You're making me nervous. <laughs> don't sit on the baby. <laughs> don't lay down on the baby. <laughs> Dog move. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Dog, go go over here. No, not that way. Don't Dog, there's a baby right there. <laughs> Lexi. <laughs> oh wow, our dog is not smart. I have so many coffers now. Woo! Okay, I'm seriously thinking about playing this Baron in order to get an estate so I can buy a copper and get a coffers. <laughs> so would I like to put an estate, a copper, and a coffers in my life? I was going to say deck, but the coffers doesn't go in my deck. I have $5 with no talisman. It seems really bad, right? It just seems awful. But uh. last game, if you had a chance, you wanted more estates in the pile. So I'm denying the estate to you. This seems terrible. 
I will spend a coffers to get a gold. <laughs> and now I'm greening. Okay. Seems awful, right? It seems it really bad. So your win condition is speed. The thing is, like, if you give me time, I'm going to win whether or not there are states in that pile. And, like, taking the estate slows you down a good deal. Oh, sweet. Baron this, with early, this early definitely does. Uh, I'll agree with this, that. Ooh, this sweet. is terrible. This is quite bad. Parker. Let's... There you go. All right, so this is the same thing as last time. I only would have five uniques for my lamp. Okay, um... So I'm going to spend the coffers to get a province here because uh, I've got a talisman down here, and I would rather uh, get treasures with the talisman out because I don't think I'm going to province both these hands. So I'll get the province now. I think that'll get me more coffers. Turns out it wouldn't have mattered. But, uh, maybe it might have, I don't know, if the silver had missed or something. All right, and we're just going to hope that's going to be enough coffers. Well, it's not going to be, right? I'm going to need to get some more coffers at some point, but. So I had some worse draws, and it looks like you're having worse draws as well. Yeah. Which yeah, is they're pretty bad. Normal. I mean, there's no trashing here. Ooh, this is yeah. probably one of the better things that could have happened. I have a crappy hand, and it's got a talisman in it, so I'm happy about that. Yeah. Man, I wish there was something I could do that wouldn't draw a card. Um, you could not play any more actions. I have Overlord Groundskeeper in my hand. Like, that seems bad. You have an estate? No. Oh, that's rough. Uh, yeah. What about Poorhouse? Overlord is Poorhouse. Is that any good? It gets me zero dollars. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, no. This is just oh. bad. If you have Overlord and Groundskeeper in your hand, it gets you at least one dollar. I have three. Oh, yeah, it gets me a dollar. Nice. <sighs> Actually, that's probably the best thing I can do. Uh, if I had planned a little bit around the... Maybe I could have played around discarding treasures to make uh, Warehouse better, but I'm still just hitting five no matter what to get a Groundskeeper. So this is sad. Um... Woo! Woo! There's a hand. Man, this is so sad. Well, this shuffle went a lot better for me. I don't feel like I can lose this game. I say as Jake plays six groundskeepers. 
don't have a Baron. He had a Baron. So do you gain... What are your other cards? We're about to find out. Oh, snap. All right, well, this is a big turn. Yeah. Well, I don't think it's hard. Mm-hmm. The only question... Yeah, I mean, that's definitely what you do. I was just mathing to see if it would have been better to gain an estate with both barons, but it wasn't. I still feel like I'm going to win. Yeah. Um, I feel like you want more royal carriages and maybe like less groundskeepers. Like you no, have eight groundskeepers and one royal carriage. So I think maybe you want like one or two more royal carriages. I seriously doubt that. I, I well, strongly doubt that that will be good, but I'll try it. But yeah, like I think it should be tried. That seems like the opposite of what this deck is struggling with. Um, I think it is exactly what the deck is struggling with. And then when you know when you put more royal carriages in the deck, you probably want like some vaults, maybe a vault, not some vaults, a vault, a vault. So I could lose here to an amazing draw. That is the start of an amazing draw for you. Oh, boy. I shouldn't have called the royal carriage on that. Undo? Well, no, I, I, I saw something. It would be ultra cheaty. Undo? Um, nah. You're going to lose this game anyway. Undo? Undo? Okay, if I had called the carriage on the Overlord instead and played it as another Baron, then I... Yeah, that was just dumb to call the carriage on Secret Cave. So that would have given me an extra $4 and an extra buy, which would have been... Undo. Uh, I think that might have won. Let's let's find out. Only because I'm actually curious if that would have won. Not uh yeah. One more. Okay. Uh, here. Discard state. State. And so, uh, does this win eight plus five, four? That doesn't win. I don't think you win this turn, but I think you get a lot no, of points but, this turn. Yeah. No, I'm asking if I can single province and win from it. Um, so, right. So four maximum grandies. points. Eight, right. Um, five. 18, 18 versus... Duchy Estate, yeah. What's the last card in your hand? Estate. Oh. Uh, no, I still lose. Because unless mm. you fail the province this turn. <clears throat> and next turn. Should I get a Duchy? I really don't want to get a Duchy. I don't think Duchy helps you. Duchy helps me if you can score what? Um, well, if you can province next turn, I lose no matter what. So it helps me if you can score a lot of points but can't province. Okay, that's ridiculous. I'm not getting a duchy, and for the same reason, I don't get an estate, so I just get a silver. Yeah, the silver is what actually helps you province. Um, yeah. Yeah. E uh, that an estate is not going to win me the game here. So I could well, win on this zero turn. Zero groundskeepers you know. out. Uh, it's not going to help you. All right. Well, that I, was pretty close. Well, and I, I went first. Very, I could have very likely won this turn. It's not guaranteed. Uh, so I got terrible draws, but so did you. And uh, we both got below average draws. Yeah. Yeah, this, they were pretty bad. Man, it, I don't. It feels lazy to say this, but I wonder if the takeaway here is that these decks are equal and 
the person who gets better draws and makes fewer mistakes is going to win the game. Um, I think the decks are not too far from each other, but I still think money is considerably better. Well, it's not. I mean, you, the things you just said contradict. If it's considerably better, then they're far apart from each other. Okay, I don't think they're like mega, mega, ultra far apart from each other, but I think they're not like close enough that you can say the draws will decide it every time. Let's try a Baron Overlord opening. Seems bad, okay? Seems pretty bad, but it looks like it's going to work out kind of for me now. Except, like, if you open anything other than Baron and Silver, like, the odds of getting a Guild Hall and a Talisman in your deck are just next to zero before you shuffle again. Also, my Overlord missed. Neato. Glad that happened. So, yeah, I got super punished instead of rewarded. Nice. Nice! Do I play to this? Um, yes. What does more money for next hand actually do for me? Stuff. It does stuff. Stuff, Jake. It does stuff. Uh huh. And I'll take a. Nice. <sighs> that was terrible. Okay. Wow! Oh my gee, this is so bad. instead of the groundskeeper here. I think I was too hard on Royal Carriage in my initial assessment. Agreed. Fuck you, I didn't ask you. No, okay. <laughs> um... Wait, what? Oh, were they... We're done here. Were, your... were your draws that bad? Oh, yeah. Really? Okay. Baron, Baron without an estate, like, three times <clears throat> there. The only time it hit was when I had debt from Overlord. Yeah, the Overlord opening is just not, not good. Right. Not Baron Overlord. No, I got hosed really hard. I still not... didn't have a Guild Hall. Oh, okay. I'm not convinced between Silver or Secret Cave in the open with the Baron. The Silver is better for the deck initially, but it makes it more likely that you have the disaster turn of Baron and Coppers. Um. Sure. I go with the secret cave because it's not the silver's not so much better than the cave that I'm willing to take that risk. Well, then I think you should open with a sage instead of the secret cave. Well, I think the sage is actively bad for the deck until you've activated your lamp. What do you mean? It helps you find your baron and get more cards. Like it's definitely better on turn three and turn four. Hang on, so I could not discard. What's that do? Uh, let's not. Let's just do this and get an overlord and pay off most of the debt for it. <laughs> do I take a second overlord? Um, no. No, he says. Uh, this one. Hi, doggy. You're sitting on the baby's head. Lexi, don't... <laughs> the baby likes it. He's smiling. Okay. <laughs> you two have fun. Er, take a silver and five at this dog more. that's sitting on his head. Well, she's not really sitting on his head, but, like, her hair... Her fur, like, is going onto his head, so it kind of looks like she's sitting on his head. You know...
<laughs> he's loving the fact that the dog is like all over him. That feels good. Nice. Nice. Get a second cave. So we'll go carriage and then uh what was my last hand again? Plays three copper. Okay, so it could happen. Um Secret cave. Don't discard. Call royal carriage. Don't discard. Play the overlord as vault. Discard that. Oh. <laughs> sure. Wait a second. Hold on. So I definitely want to do this. I'm buying a treasure this turn. I actually think I'm going to keep the estate because I haven't seen my Baron yet. Wait, didn't I see my Baron last turn? Yes, okay, never mind. LOL. Okay, so now we're in good shape. Um, and we take... You have a Baron. Um, I'll take Ground. Oh, snap. Royal Carrot. Yeah, that doesn't. I mean, it's hard to do if you build the deck for it, or if you if you play to it well. I don't think that I think turn eight is probably what you get unless you get unlucky. So, I think that Royal, seems really optimistic. Royal carriage baron, I think. A I think turn eight is absurdly guy. lucky. I don't. Not absurdly lucky. Definitely not. I'm gonna go um, with absurdly lucky. Uh, Royal Carriage Baron. Oh, sweet. Got punished for that. Nice. That sucks. But now I get the Sage. At this point... So this was bad, but uh, let's get a Sage. Ooh, $4 with no Talisman. Feels good, man. So my draws this game have not been great. They've been below average. If I still win this game with you getting really, really, really lucky, then I, I, I think we can put a to... nail in the coffin on Groundskeeper. Uh, I'm, I'm not convinced that I got really, really lucky. I am convinced. I, uh, well, I'm not. So, I mean, well, we can debate that. doesn't that, matter but... because I'm right. <laughs> um, I'm kidding about that. Yeah, I'm going to get Groundskeeper Sage, probably. So do I just spend four coffers for a province here? That seems really bad. Seems bad, yeah. Ooh, do I spend four coffers for a province here? This is I really don't know. Bad. You, well, here it's a little more justifiable, because you just shuffled. Well, I had just shuffled last turn. Oh, had you? Oh, yeah. I thought you were at the bottom of a shuffle last turn. Not the top of one. I don't know. I mean, I still think maybe not. Well, okay, so now you're kind of on the clock, so maybe you do. I don't know. Feels really bad. 
this is good. I only have one estate and one baron in these 15 cards. So the fact that I didn't see either this turn is lovely. I'm happy about that. Brings me back up to a coin flip. If I collide them this shuffle, I could possibly win. If I don't collide them this shuffle, I feel like I'm out of it. Um, let's see. Yeah, this was weird. Okay. Um... Could build a vault poorhouse engine. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> Don't lick the baby's face. <laughs> One, two, three groundskeepers in play. Mm -hmm. I had to call two choice. royal carriages to do that. Nice. But yeah. you had $13, so that's yeah. pretty rad. Too Ooh. short of being super rad, but... Yeah. All right, this is... I'm going to take this. Now, I could be salty and say, Why didn't neither of my talismans show up in a hand with my baron? But, like, whatever. This is great. I'll take it. I'll just, like, load up on coppers or something next turn. If I load up on coppers next turn, I mean get a copper next turn. It would have start... been a lot sexier if the talismans were in that hand, though. What would you say? Do I start putting silver in the deck? Do I just take another sage? You get a sage over a silver for sure. Well, the this deck is very light on econ. Like, I don't have very much going on in terms of... I need to actually be able to threaten with my groundskeepers. It, playing five groundskeepers and getting an estate is not enough. You have, um, what, one silver? Uh, you have two royal carriages, an overlord, and two barons. Have you But I'm not really dis estates? I'm not really discarding to my secret caves. So, I think you have plenty of money. I think you're fine. I have a vault. Well, yeah. All right, I, I, I think you that. are... Yeah, you definitely get sage over silver. All I right. don't think that's close. Oh, and I had two estates for some reason. Oh, I gained an estate <laughs> earlier, didn't I? I must have. I must have four um, estates in my deck. Yeah. Here you go, Parker. Lexi, let him let him be. It's fine. You don't have to stick your wet nose absolutely everywhere. It's okay, pup. But don't sit on the baby. I guess there's one other thing I want to try with money, and that's getting a lot more talismans. I think it's bad. Lexi, stop it. You're being annoying. Go away. Good, good girl. Good girl. Oh, I could discard. No. Um, yeah, let's do that. Sure enough points to make it worth it. Ooh, this feels really good. It means that second time where I could have spent four coffers and got a province, I shouldn't have done it. Because I was counting on this not happening again. Now I don't think I can do it. 
I think it would be bad. Do I get an estate instead of a silver? Uh, no, I don't think that's good. Okay. Feels bad, man. Well, this didn't work out. Um, Should have left the royal carriage on the mat. Uh, I could get a duchy, but that seems bad. Um, duchy seems bad. I think you should get groundskeeper or a royal carriage. Or gold. Or um, vault. Why would you want gold? Because I need to actually be able to use my plus buy to do things. Um, buy estates. Mm. Probably groundskeeper is best. Okay. So given that I had this hand, okay. Um, okay, so, okay. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I'm going to use the slider here to spend my coffers. So, oh, wow. Oh, okay. Oh, you might be able to get a turn five then. <laughs> I always end up with like eight of him and win. I kind of want to do one more where I just like spam talismans. Um, I, I, I think that I could buy that groundskeeper is worse than talisman money here. Like I says, Sweet. anyway. <laughs> Turn four. Uh, let's keep trying to build this groundskeeper deck. I have yet to win with it, so I'm thinking it's bad. Um. <laughs> oh, we're puzzling. Uh, I need a baron. Or do I get the Overlord? Let's get the Overlord. And then get punished hard. Nice. Okay. Yeah, for this plan, especially for spamming Talisman, Overlord's just I, f I feel like that, that comment is very indicative. Um earlier of just the making luck experience in general. He's like, man, Adam Horton and Wandering Winder. There's also some other guy here. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> Is he in the Dominion Discord? Do you know? Ari? No. Ari, no. He's, a, he's that guy I did that YouTube video with. Right, I know. I just didn't know if he was in the Dominion Discord. I don't, I don't know how much of the FDS Kool-Aid oh, he's drank. By the way, the audio quality on this has been great, right? Uh, it's been about the same for me. Okay, it's been amazing for me. 
Nice. Alright, Overlord opening. Not bueno. Me no likey. Um, did I get an Overlord already? I did. So let's take a Royal Carriage. <laughs> oh, this is great. Hi, buddy. You know what? This game isn't teaching me anything. I kind of want to resign it. Is that okay? Sure. All right. I want to open Baron Silver and load up on Talisman. And that didn't happen that game. I'm going to learn nothing from that game. Uh, I don't Ooh, 5-2. Really... That's pretty I sexy. I mean... Oh, is that your foot? What am I doing with a 5-2? Am I opening Overlord nothing? Royal Carriage Overlord? Uh, carriage Overlord. Eh. Eh. I think that's behind, not ahead. You think? Yeah, I don't think that that's helping me. Get stuff off that I want to get. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and resign this, just because I feel like this deck needs all the help it can get. All right. Sure. <laughs> oh, sweet. Nice. I like this draw. I think this might be the best possible draw. Well, okay. It's obviously not the best possible draw, but it's like, it's up there. Because I don't have to get that copper. Whatever I said about best possible draw has been canceled out because I'm now spending six on a talisman. <laughs> I wish I would have had like some estates miss a shuffle instead of seeing at the top of my shuffle anyway. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. All right. Be still my beating heart. <laughs> Which do nothing cantrip am I playing Overlord as? Secret Cave. Well, I mean, yeah. well, unless really you have matter. an estate and not your Baron, and you think you could find your Baron. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Uh, uh, you played your Baron and then shuffled, yeah. Neato. Oh, you had your Baron anyway, then Secret yeah. Cave. Yeah. Unless you want to, like, cause a shuffle, you could chancel yourself. I don't know, man. Here it is. Here it is. It's, it's the dream for this strategy. We just started putting the boy in one of these things. He's not really big enough for it, but I finally found a use for this Purdueopoly thing that someone gave me for Christmas. Nice. I mean, their intent was good, but for unrelated reasons, we don't like this person anymore. So, by the way, that talisman seems nuts to me. Like, that, tal but that talisman has to be better as a silver, right? Has to be. I don't know, maybe not. We'll see. Second royal carriage or groundskeeper. Uh, what's going to help me get the lamp? Probably. Probably second royal carriage is going to be a little better than the groundskeeper, but it's close. But he loves this thing. Although, it's, it's helping him build some muscles, but. Uh, uh, talisman silver or silver silver? You could just spend a coffer and start greening. 
the pressure's on already. Baron like, and two talismans. No way, that man. Seem crazy. You've guilt hall. Like I don't know. I'll start greening next turn. I don't think six coffers is it. well. I, wait, hold on. Province and oh, you've two talismans copper? out. Province and copper. Hmm. Province and copper seems fine. You know what? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Me likey. Did you burp? Yes, you did. Found my lamp in a bad hand, so. <laughs> this was bad for the <laughs> Now do I get talisman or silver? It's the same question as last hand. Probably silver at this point. You have enough talismans. As... <laughs> but how many talismans is too many talismans? <laughs> is tower on the board? I don't know. Um... <laughs> oh, tower. That would do it. Got to win that talisman split. Okay. Look. It's a blue frog with gecko hands. That exists. Okay, I'm pretty convinced that getting more than two talismans has got to be good. I believe it. I don't know how many is too many. I feel like six was good here, but that last one was a little silly. So, let's see, par for the course there. Um... Uh. Like an overlord. I feel like I can't lose this game, and I'm performing much better than I have in previous games. Has yeah. to have been some good draws here. Well, you're also playing a different strategy. Like it's pretty diffo. It's a mix. Well, it's a mix of like it's your going draws harder and into strategy. Tasks, yeah. yeah. It's like a different dialect of the same language of strategies. Sure. Yeah. Whatever, man. Yeah. Oh, also, after this, uh, do you want to just, like, play some regular games? Yeah, that's fine. Cool. Um... This thing takes batteries, and then apparently something lights up and plays music when he bounces with his feet. <clears throat> but I have no idea where the batteries go in it. So do I get a silver here? And by a silver, I mean four silvers. Uh, Probably. I don't really know that seven coffers is going to be enough to drain five provinces. Let's, uh, yeah, now is the time. Hashtag now is the time. And then now I think it's province every turn pretty much no matter how many coffers i have to spend Woo so it's possible i was also wrong about sage being actively bad for the deck uh well, Sage Skipping Wishes is not good. I think a lot of the time you can start getting Sages after that, or like at some point just abandon all hope of getting the Lamp, but I think you just lose if you don't get your Lamp off early. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I think that that's been a pretty consistent insight. with life. I guess if I have one additional curiosity, it's like, oh, wow, Oh, only yeah, I didn't. No find, I needed okay, to find rough. my Baron, and I yeah, didn't. That's rough. Yeah, I, that's why I called uh, yeah. carriage on stage. Yeah, just to find my Baron. That sucks. And I did not. So I think I take what I can get. But uh, oh, sweet! This is way worse than it would have been. Because um, <laughs> nice. now this hand. Because now this hand sucks too. Uh, This 
deck needs a second Baron. Or a like a real third Baron. overlord. Yeah. Oh, real. Yeah, well, well, sure. I know what you mean. Yeah, the the third overlord is uh, not the preferred way to get there for sure. Because uh... Baron, uh, there you go. Uh, You'll be a little uh, more comfortable, Mister Parker. Uh, and we'd just be sad, basically. Yeah, this is just not. I'm convinced of the groundskeeper thing. It has too much that can go wrong and screw it over. Yeah, there's no and, trashing, and, and the, know, really the money deck is good enough that, yeah. All right. All um, right, so yeah, we can just do random. Clearing off Kingdom. Oh, I should stop the video. Bye, video.